Hi, this is Michael Pena with Teens Want to Know. Today we heard the premiere performance of Take Me to the Poor House, written by and starring Liz Femi Wilson, and also raising money for Mama Hope. Teens Want to Know recognizes that there are many artists with dreams of getting their work out there, who never get the chance. However, with determination and support, these dreams can come true. Liz Femi Wilson is a Nigerian actress who's a perfect example of this. After a lot of hard work and planning, plus the help of friends and family, she pulled off writing, funding, and getting produced her one-woman play called Take Me to the Poor House, which is also raising money for the Mama Hope charity. The show, directed by Jane Morris, provides a peek into African culture from a viewpoint not often seen in American media. We got the chance to visit during a press preview and speak with some of the attendees. My name is Edwina Findlay. I'm on a show on HBO called Treme. Hello, and I'm Yvonne Orji. I'm a Nigerian stand-up comedian. This show is about a very, very funny eight-year-old girl. What was your silliest ideas when you were that age? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I think when I was eight years old, I was sure I could do anything. Dancing, <laughs> fly, be a hairdresser, do triple pirouettes in the middle of the concrete jungle. Like, there was nothing that I didn't think I could do at eight years old. Do you have any messages for Liz? Sure, I would just say break a leg. I'm sure she's gonna be absolutely fabulous and spot on and I cannot wait to see her performance. Yes, keep dreaming big dreams and knock it out. I can't wait to see the performance. And tell us about King of the Nerds. Um, it's a reality show competition where 11 nerds are pitted against each other and they battle it out to see who's the king of the nerds, the nerdiest of them all. And I understand that you have a, a heck of a background in education, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I have my bachelor's degree in physics and a master's and PhD in mechanical engineering. That's and I, pretty sweet. Yeah, and I try to give back all of the knowledge that I have and do outreach events and things like that. So. Now, since today is the premiere performance of the show, what messages do you have for Liz? Um, great job thus far. I saw all of the trailers and I think it's a great concept, especially to tell it in the style of just a one person storytelling. Yeah. I think that's amazing. It goes back to our roots back when the history used to be passed on by word of mouth and through storytelling. So I just love that. So great job. You're going to do well. I can't wait to see it. Um, I'm excited about just seeing the play and seeing uh, more what it's all about and seeing it come to life. Uh, I heard about this uh, play through one of the producers named James Jolie. Hi James, shout out to James. Um, so I'm just looking forward to a great show. What's your favorite part about live theater? Uh, I think just being super close to the actors and the intimate, uh, the intimate space. Yeah. yeah. And uh, since this show is about, it's about a very funny little eight-year-old girl, what was your silliest idea at that age? I, I wanted to be a fairy, but the, at age seven, I kind of still want to be a fairy at age 35, so yeah. <laughs> go for it. Yeah. You go see live theater often. I then. do. Weekly. Wow. What's your favorite part about it? Being surprised. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's good surprise, sometimes it's bad surprise, but yeah. I like being surprised. And any kind of new work, you know, it represents people taking big risks. I'm totally excited to see Liz perform for her mom. I didn't know her mom was going to be here tonight, but she is and she hasn't seen the show. So I'm sort of tempted because I've seen the show, so I want to sort of just watch Liz's mom. You know? Do you have any messages for Liz? Hi Liz! Good luck. <laughs> Break a million legs. I'm so excited to see you. Um, she has the best energy and such a wonderful spirit and I cannot wait to see this story. I did a film called I Can Do Vital by Myself. I'm in a film that's coming out called The Philosophers. It'll be in theaters this year. And I've also done quite a few bits in TV, uh, CSI New York, Glee, uh, Southland, uh, like a, a few different, you know, spots in different TV shows. Yeah. So far, what's been your favorite project to work on? My favorite, pro you know, actually this has been my favorite because it's very personal. I know a lot of the history behind it. Um, Liz is my sister, so a lot of the references, a lot of the little jokes here and there, they're very, very personal specific things that I remember. I would love to say Liz, um, Egbami, I'm so proud of you. I couldn't be more honored to be collaborating with you and working with you on this and just seeing how far it's come from just an idea to it coming to fruition and you know premiering tonight. It's like I'm really 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 just touched and I'm so excited for everyone to see how incredibly talented and hilarious and funny and how crazy your energy is. Energy was definitely in abundance during the show we got to see. 
with Wilson delivering a very entertaining performance and receiving a standing ovation. Now let's talk to Liz herself. Hey, we're here with Liz Femi Wilson, writer and star of Take Me to the Poor House. Now your show just finished. How are you feeling? I feel amazing. It was a wonderful time. The audience was just so present. It was, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a great night. So tell us a little bit about what the play's about. Okay, so the play is about a young middle class Nigerian girl named Lizzie. Lizzie wants to become poor because she feels like that's the only way to get uh, the attention of her crush in her class. Her a classmate who she has a crush on is really popular and he's a poor kid and she feels like she needs to be poor for him to like her. So she goes through a lot of adventures in her quest to become poor and you meet other, her other classmates and the world that she comes from in Nigeria. And now you said this was kind of inspired by a true story, It was inspired, right? yeah, it was inspired by a true story. Um, some of the events actually happened in my life um, and some of the people I actually know, some are composites of each other, mm -hmm. but yeah, it, these were based on true events. <laughs> cool, and now, did you write the role for yourself in mind? That's a great question. I mean, I did play all the characters, but I guess I would say, I, would say I, I wrote it, yeah, for a particular voice that I felt like I had never gotten a chance to play as an actress. And now you, you're donating part of the proceeds to Mama Hope, right? So why did you choose Mama Hope? Their angle is that um, we need to stop the pity and unlock the potential in any yeah. community that you're trying to help. You know, instead of always sort of helping people from the angle of just pity, yeah. Um, empowering people instead of that weird status, that dynamic that comes from philanthropy sometimes. Yeah. So I really loved that they, they, I felt like the message of what they were trying to do really matched what we were trying to do with this show as well. So after today, what's next for Take Me to the Poor House? Well, we are going to go to New York and we are also looking to go to London and South Africa and DC. So we're going, we're going on a long journey. <laughs> Shout out to Teens 1 and no. Love you guys.